guys we are about to talk about how to work more on yourself than working for so you gotta work more on your on yourself than working for other people i don't say you mustn't work hard for other people you gotta work hard but you gotta work more for yourself because working for person giving a living but working on yourself is to build a fortune we're gonna talk on how to get success what is value we're talking different part of how to promote yourself how to raise yourself to a certain level that you ever try to all this time but you couldn't and first do you know what the most important key to, su- to success is it may surprise you you see many people believe that success is the result of willpower and if they have a strong drive to achieve it will happen that's really true but here's the thing if your environment and the people around you don't support your success it can be very very difficult or even impossible to improve your circumstances your circumstances life was designed not to give us what we want not to give us what we need but life was designed to give us what we deserve life one more time to clarify on that point because it's a, it's, an important, it's a really important point life was designed to give us what we deserve you can want something you can dream about something you can need something you can do whatever you want to get something but if you do not deserve it you ain't gonna get it that's how life was designed and nobody can change that so that means everything we have we deserve it you want it big value in life you gotta deserve it you want success in life you gotta deserve it you want to work you gotta deserve it not this inquiry first question what gives life value a thought-provoking question it's gonna be what makes human existence valuable those are questions you can ask yourself and try to get answers but i'm gonna try to get some answers to see if it will help you because once understanding these answers from this question it can change your whole entire life there's one more what would make the opportunity to live a human life significant now that we are on this circling planet what makes life valuable secondly thirdly what makes life function well all right good sensible question and currently we couldn't put under work you know in terms of spiritual social personal economic and physically there are many various factors that go into making life go smoothly but that will do because those questions in my opinion are of utmost importance what give life what gives it its value what causes it to function properly in all its aspect what will you change if some areas of your life were not working out well and i have some excellent response to it usually just a dozen factors account for 80 percent of the different that is the equation usually just a dozen factors account for 80 percent of the variance the whole thing about this calculation is that neither the half dozen nor the 80 percent are accurate simply said this is a different way of saying things another way to put it is as follows whatever the project keep looking continue to seek for the little things that may make a big impact reduce it to the core element 
that will handle the majority of it and believe you will reach the same conclusion if you consider a wide range of important topics. There are around two key things to do that will increase your likelihood of being successful in sell by 80%. There are around six different things that a management profession there are roughly six essentials for a happy marriage you don't need to focus on a thousand different things to maintain excellent health you don't have 500 tasks to do each day the most of it will be handled by around six the learning curve is not too it's not too much step there are just a few things to learn you don't have to use every piece of technology throughout your life to learn something. There is always a half a dozen that can make you learn that thing and that skill you're trying to learn to proceed with success. Just a handful of significant items will take care of the majority of it and you are all safe. So for all the learning, you can just have half a dozen. And once you go to the half a dozen, the rest of it will come by itself. It's just the way, you know, you start and once you're in and the rest of it start coming by itself. That's so wonderful. That's me. We don't need to kill ourselves to get what we want. We just need to take the first step. I mean, the first steps. And once we are in a half a dozen step and the rest of it, no matter how many of it should be, let's say 6,000 by a half a dozen of it. So you just get six. And after you get that six and you understand that six and that six part is in you, then you're ready to go. That was so wonderful. When I learned this, I read it and I read it and I start keep on listening it from a lot of people on YouTube, on TVs, about half a dozen. I start understanding that anything I want, anything I want to do, I can do it if I'm really serious with it. So when it comes down to it, my adolescent body wants to know whether I can do it. Can a, begin, can a beginner like me learn it? And uh, in life, there is a lot of stuff happening. Sometimes children, like kids, sometimes my own children, they ask me, how did you accomplish this? The answer I always give them, it was simple to do it. Sometimes I don't even know if I could do something. By the end of the day, I end up doing it. After practicing this half a dozen stuff. So something I'll need to tell you guys is what is simple for one should be simple for everyone one person answers if is good for a question or if somebody can answer a question so that question can be answered for everybody so everybody can answer that question if one can do answer it and it was simple for you to understand what is simple for one person is simple for everybody however because i like to be little philosophical let me now express it in a philosophical term this is it what is simple to do is equally simple to avoid doing the difference between success and failure is that the difference between pennies and fortune is this. Let me come back on it. What is simple to do is equally simple to avoid doing. So if I can simple eat something, it's simple to avoid eating something. That how easy it is. That is the difference between thriving and struggling. The distinction between strength and treasure is this what is simple to do is equally simple to avoid doing that's so important to learn that's really so important to learn neglect is a major factor in why 
individuals don't have it all.